Hi guys, this is a very quick overview on the G-Shock GBD209ER. I don't know if the 9ER is part of the actual model, but yeah, we'll go with it anyway. This is a watch I purchased for really my daily work tasks. I am a heating engineer, basically, and I need a watch that has um, functions to do timings, especially if you're doing let by tests on gas meters or checking safety devices on uh, gas appliances. Normally I would have used the phone. A problem with using the phone is it does drain the battery after a day of using it to do uh, tasks such as stopwatches and countdowns and if it's pouring with rain outside and you're at a gas meter outside it's going to be, you know, it can be raining, it can be loud. Sometimes you, you just need something which is a li little less aggravation. So I decided to get a watch to do the task. This watch in general was the one that ticked all the boxes for me. I picked this up from the G-Shock store in Carnaby Street, London. It comes in three colours, a black, a dark blue and a neon yellow, neon yellow, yeah, neon yellow ish green color. So, very quick unboxing. I have, as I said, already worn this watch, so I will just show you how it came in the box. It comes in a lovely little presentation tin. And yes, I went for the neon, the neon coloured watch. Very quickly, as I said, you have the ability to program this via a smartphone, so you do pair it up to the smartphone. The application I did find to be a little bit buggy at times, but it does it does pair. And once you have paired you can adjust the settings of the watch as you need it. As a bonus with this and the Bluetooth pairing with your smartphone, you can use your watch to find your phone, which is a good feature. Um, a little word about the design of it, it is quite slim and very lightweight. Uh, surprisingly, looking at some of the other G-Shocks in the store, which are quite bulky, this is actually quite thin and it's very light. It's not really a heavy watch at all. The strap, I don't know what you would call this, the strap keep, keeper, whatever it is, it has a little notch in it so it doesn't, once it's on your wrist, it doesn't move basically. So it, it's, it's a good little design. Also you have the little shoulders inside the strap would stop the watch from rotating around your wrist when you're wearing it. Function wise, it does what most digital watches do really. You've got your basic, let's move past that one for now. You've got your stopwatch activities. It's got notifications, as I said, you can Bluetooth it up to your phone. Standard watch face. Display can change to show your pedometer, time, date, alarm status. That's your step counter at the top there for the day. That's your step counter for the month, I believe. Dual time zones, my one's set to Athens for some reason, not sure why. Back to time and date. Push and hold the display button. And you can scroll through your home time. Let's go back to that one, sorry. Uh, time adjustment, well time, alarms, profile, whether you want the phone to beep or not, light, how long the light stays on for, and the vibration function. Pairing, aeroplane mode, Not, I think I, you'd ever need that on an aeroplane because, I, I don't know, you might, it's actually it. Uh, find phone, units, Reset, and then I'm not sure what that is. Regulatory. Come back out of that. 
as I said, for me as a heating engineer, I needed a function on this watch, which is what this watch does very well for me, is when you're doing a let by test at a gas meter. If you're one in the position where you're sending a gas meter and it's outside, it's pouring with rain, uh, maybe it's dark or it's bright sunlight, sometimes you might not be able to you might not be able to get your phone out to do the timings, for example. Um, or you might just not like using your mobile phone by a gas meter in case you drop your phone and break it. A watch was something that I needed, and that's why I've purchased this one. But the function that I've programmed into it, which is what you have to do via the phone app, is the let by. Well, I programmed it as my let by test. This is probably something you would have on a as an athlete or someone doing training like you know you do a minute of sprinting and then stop for 40 seconds and then do another two minutes of sprinting and then stop for another 20 seconds that's what this was really for but i've done it as a let by test so i've got my first minute on there for example um i would start the stopwatch when this countdown reaches zero the let by test will change and it will then say um adjust um, and it will give me I've give I've programmed it to give me another 20 seconds um, which allows me to adjust the gas pressure and then it will carry on after that 20 seconds with the temperature stabilization and then it will carry on after that temperature stabilization to do the actual uh, let by test on each stage of that test this watch will beep and vibrate on my wrist so I haven't got a mess about getting my phone out and I found that perfect for what I needed it to do. Yeah. Again, the type of people who are going to buy this watch probably are not going to be engineers. You might be, but you're most probably going to be buying this as a as a sports watch to use predominantly for sports. But for me, I'm classing this as a work tool, which is why I'm doing a video of it. There we go. So let's give I've given myself 20 seconds there to adjust the pressure up to the the correct pressure. So we don't need that one at the moment, so let's come out of that. Uh, what else have we got? you got a backlight on there. Mine comes on for a few seconds and then goes off. The alarm function, you can have four daily alarms on this. When I'm getting up at 4.30 in the morning, I don't really want to be waking my partner up at the same time with a watch which is beeping. So I've got this set to vibrate only. So at 4.30 in the morning, this thing's vibrating on my wrist and it wakes me up which is perfect for what I need. So yeah, that's it. Again, very quick overview of the watch. I actually do like this colour. Um, I do like the, the form factor of it. And I'm really impressed with it. Any questions? Make a comment in below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Yeah. Enjoy.